All right, we've gone through the technical on this guy. And now I'm going to take it away from the technical and get into more of the feeling. I, I do my worst when I try to do technical. You know, every muscle, every bone, everything. I do much better when I just approach it with a vision and a feeling. And that's what I'm going to do now. I've shown you the technical. Now let me demonstrate how to bring something from inside you into the clay. So this is the part, start of part four of my instructional DVD. The untechnical. Alright, the best way to start an untechnical approach is do the eyes all over again. So I start reworking the face and I'm tr just getting off the technical side of sculpting and doing more of what I feel. Uh, it's just, I sculpt better that way. When I start get, getting technical, I just, uh, well, I just don't feel as comfortable. I start digging deep furrows in his cheeks and uh, giving some personality of not only a life spent on the ocean rowing a uh, Viking ship or commanding a Viking ship, uh, just years and years of uh, battles and hardships, cold and wet. And that's what I'm trying to portray. Here I'm just uh, starting to build up the chest and the shoulders and again not really worrying about where every muscle and every bone is and build the beard. And I want to have it blowing. So I'm going to make it so that I have this filler Here I'm, I'm making a steel helmet. Um, I haven't done any research on it. I just going by what I remember seeing in movies and on film and pictures and stuff like that, and uh, trying to uh, build it up. I think the character is coming out. Just evening out the, he the steel helmet. All the way around. May have to add more clay. I, I, I want to go on the computer and uh, look up uh, these type of things. So I think what I'm going to do is end part four. And uh, pick this up tomorrow in part five. And hopefully, I'll have the helmet looking like a helmet. <laughs>